Let us now take the third model from the topic of menstruation where we shall discuss questions related to finding the area of a footpath or garden which has been constructed outside or inside of a two dimensional shape. Let us look at the first example here. A rectangular park of length 20 meters and breadth 18 meters is to be bounded by a 2 meter wide jogging track from outside. What will be the area of the track? So as you can see here there is a rectangular park the length is 20 meters and the breadth given here is 18 meters. Now this rectangular park has to be bounded by a jogging track and this track here is 2 meters wide and this track is constructed outside the rectangular park. So we need to find out what will be the area of the jogging track. Now as you can see this is how the shape would look like. For example, the inner rectangle that we see here is the actual rectangular part. This is the rectangular part which the question is talking about. So the given length here is 20 meters. So this length is 20 meters and the breadth is 18 meters. So breadth here is equal to 18 meters. Now outside this rectangular part, a jogging track has been constructed. As you can see, the jogging track has been constructed and this track is 2 meter wide. So 2 meters is the width of this track. So at all sides it is 2 meters. So on all the four sides we can say that the width of the track is going to be 2 meters. And the question is what is the area of the track? So we need to find out the shaded portion here. This area has to be calculated. So this is nothing but the jogging track which has been constructed and we are supposed to find out the area. If you try to observe this figure, the shaded area here can be calculated by taking the outer rectangle area minus inner rectangle. So from the complete rectangle, outer rectangle, if we subtract the inner rectangle, the remaining area will be the area of the jogging track. So we can say area of the track or the required area will be nothing but outer rectangle minus inner rectangle. Let's take it as outer rectangle minus the inner rectangle. So area of the track will be area of outer rectangle minus area of inner rectangle and area of a rectangle is nothing but length into breadth. So now we need to know what is the length and the breadth of outer and inner rectangles. Now for the inner rectangle directly the length and breadth are 20 and 18 as this is nothing but the rectangular path. We only have to check what is the length and breadth of the outer rectangle. Now if you observe the length of the outer rectangle, let us take it as L dash will be equal to the 20 meters length that is the length of the park plus 2 meters extension on right side and 2 meter extension on left side. So 20 meters plus 2 meters plus 2 meters. This is going to be the length of the outer rectangle. Why? Because 20 is the length of the park and on both the sides it has been extended by 2 meters because of the jogging track. So total length will be 20 plus 2 plus 2 which is equal to 24 meters. So this will be the length L dash of the outer rectangle. Similarly the breadth B dash here will be equal to let us take the breadth as B dash that will be equal to inner breadth is 18 meters that is the breadth of the park is 18 meters and both on top as well as bottom the park has been extended by 2 meters because of the construction of jogging track. So total breadth here will be 18 plus 2 20 plus 2 22. So here it will be equal to 18 plus 2 plus 2 that is equal to 22 meters. So now we know that outer rectangle length is 24 meters and its breadth is 22 meters. Remember friends most of the students go wrong in finding out the length and breadth of the outer rectangle. What they simply presume is the length will be 20 plus 2 and breadth will be 18 plus 2. That means they take length as 22 and breadth as 20 because the track is 2 meter wide. The point to be observed here is that 2 meter extension will be on both the sides. So that is the reason we should take 20 plus 2 plus 2 and 18 plus 2 plus 2. So don't take it as 18 plus 2 only and 20 plus 2 only for breadth and length respectively. It should be 20 plus 4 and 18 plus 4. So now we can say that the answer here will be L dash into B dash minus L into B. L dash as we know is nothing but the length of outer rectangle 24 into B dash is the breadth of outer rectangle that is 22 minus L into B. L is the length of the rectangular park that is 20 and B is the breadth of the rectangular park which is 18. Now 24 into 22 will come out to be 528 minus 20 into 18 is 360. 
So by taking the difference of these two, we get the required answer. 528 minus 360 will be equal to 168. 168 and the units here has to be meter square. Why meter square? Because we are measuring the area. Area will always be in terms of meter square or centimeter square or square of units. And because the length and breadth and width are given in terms of meters, this will also be in meters. So we can say that the area of the track which has been constructed outside the park will be 168 meters square. So this is how we can find out the area of the track or the footpath by taking it as outer rectangle area minus inner rectangle area. The only point where we need to be careful here is while measuring the length and breadth of the outer rectangle. Remember it should be extended on both the sides but not only on one side. Similarly, in some cases, it may be given that the track is constructed inside. For example, very clearly in this question, we know that jogging track from outside. The rectangular park is bounded from outside. Sometimes the jogging track or the footpath is constructed inside the rectangular park. So in those cases where the footpath or the track has been constructed within the rectangular park, there outer rectangle will be nothing but the rectangular park and inner rectangle length and breadth have to be calculated. There we simply take it as 20 minus 2 minus 2 and 18 minus 2 minus 2. So the same concept is applicable but only thing is we need to be careful. Is it constructed outside or inside? Let us now take the second example from model 3. The question here is the outer circumference of a circular track is 220 meters. Find the cost of leveling the track at the rate of 50 paisa per square meter if the track is 7 meter wide everywhere. So as given in the question, the outer circumference of a circular track, track. We have a circular track where the outer circumference is 220 meters. And we have to find out the cost of leveling this track at the rate of 50 paisa per square meter. And this track is 7 meters wide everywhere. So we can assume that the circular track here is as shown. This is like a circular track which is 7 meters wide everywhere. The width is 7 meters. Along any direction, the width is 7 meters. And the outer circumference, the outer circumference is 220 meters. We have to find out the cost of leveling the track at the rate of 50 paisa per square meter. Now, if you observe, when we are leveling the track, we are actually working on the area of the track. So first of all, we need to know what is the area of this circular track. Now the area here can be taken as outer circle area minus inner circle area. Now to find out the area of outer circle and inner circle, we should know the radius of outer circle and inner circle. Let us assume that the radius of outer circle is capital R and that of inner circle is small r. Now as given in the question, outer circumference is 220. We know that circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. So outer circumference will be 2 pi capital R. Why? Because outer radius is capital R. This is equal to 220 meters. So we, this can be simplified as 2 into 22 by 7 into capital R is 220. So 220 here gets cancelled 10 times, 2 goes 5 times and we can say R will be equal to 35 meters. That means the outer radius is 35. So outer radius R is 35. Now if the outer radius is 35, we also know that the track is 7 meters wide everywhere. So the distance between outer circumference and the inner circumference is 7 meters. So we can say that the inner radius R will be equal to 35 minus 7, that is 28 meters. Why? Because it is 7 meters inside the outer circumference. If this radius is 35, inner radius will be 35 minus 7. Why? Because the track is 7 meter wide. So we also know that the small radius or the inner radius is equal to 35 minus 7, that is 28 meters. Now to find out the cost of leveling the track, we should first of all know what is the area of this track. Area of the circular track here can be taken as outer circle minus inner circle. That is area of outer circle minus inner circle. Area of circle is pi r square. So this will be pi capital R square minus pi small r square. Capital R for outer circle, small r for inner circle. So if we take pi common, we get it as r square minus small r square. So by substituting the values, that is 22 by 7 is pi. Capital R is 35. So 35 square minus small r is 28 square. Now from this, we can take it as 22 by 7 into let's take 7 square common if 7 square is taken out 35 square will be 7 square into 5 square and 28 square will be 7 square into 4 square why because 5 into 7 is 35 and 4 into 7 is 28 so 7 and 7 gets cancelled 
this will be equal to 22 into 7 into 5 square 25, 4 square 16. 25 minus 16 is 9. So this is going to be the area of the track. The total area of the track is 22 into 7 into 9 meters square. Why? Because all the dimensions here are in terms of meters. But as given in the question, we are supposed to find out the total cost. And the cost per meter square is 50 paisa. That means for one square meter, the cost of leveling is 50 paisa. So what will be the cost for this much of area? So we can say the total cost will be equal to the area multiplied by per meter cost. 50 paisa is nothing but half a rupee. So it can be taken as half rupee per square meter or 0.5 rupees per square meter. So total cost will be 22 into 7 into 9. That is the area into 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is nothing but the cost per square meter. By simplifying this, we get the answer as 693. 693 rupees. So 693 is the answer for the given question. So this is how in cases where we have a footpath along the boundary of a particular two dimensional shape, we can always find out the area as outer shape minus inner shape and then find out the required answer.